Hello everyone, this is Aaron Pitch from ATF Gaming and welcome back to my summer car. Today we have two things I want to do. First of all, I want to go to the island utilizing the boat and retrieving that bucket that I've been talking about. Um, I, I know I just kind of randomly talk about that bucket a lot. I'm like, oh, should I get that? We're going to get that today and we're going to make our home brew, which is called Kill You, which is otherwise known as Sugar Wine. So we're just going to make the quick, uh, let's get a beer. Where, where can I get a beer here? Uh, where's your run with Aaron segment for the day? Uh, let's just grab a quick beer before we hit the road. We'll just throw it on the ground. Oh, that, ha that had some pretty good launch to it. But yeah, this is the first time I've ever utilized the boat. So this could be interesting. But basically, this entire... Uh, area that we've been traveling so far is surrounding this huge lake. The lake is called Periarvi, I believe. Lake Periarvi. So, uh, we have a boat over here at, at the dock. And there's an island kind of in the middle of the lake. If you looked at the map a little bit more than uh, a normal person, I guess, then you would know that there's a giant island in the middle of the lake. So, what we need to do is we need to go to that island. A, we can explore the island a little bit. There are a few things that we can see at the island uh, that are slightly different than what we would normally see, I guess. But here we are. Let's hop onto the boat. Now, I've never utilized the boat. So, um, got it. No, that's the shut off. All right, so here's the starter. I believe we literally have to yank it. Hooray! Gear select. Oh, we're... Alright! Here we go! Where's the island? I forgot where it was already. It's over here, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. There it is! Let's head straight towards the island here. I'm really hoping that you guys can hear me over the boat. I can't really hear myself talk right now. But I've turned the game volume down enough to where I think you guys should be able to hear me. Now luckily, uh, as far as I'm concerned, there's no, no nothing that can kill us here in the boat. Um, as far as I know. I could be dead wrong with that. I, and I do think we have the ability to swim, so I don't think we can drown either. I'm not really sure. But we're just heading straight for the island there. Uh, I'll just keep talking with you guys. Uh, it's not that long of a trip, unlike everything else in this game. The town is also just to the right of the island. If you look closely, uh, you probably can't really tell, but if you look closely, you can see the town just to the right of the island. Uh, is there a... No, I, don't, I think this is all I got. Um, the boat I have to utilize the keyboard for. I can't ut utilize my controller for the boat, so that's fine. Um, I don't really know all the controls for the keyboard driving. But let's see if we can get to the island and dock this thing with skill and agility. Now also on the, well, on the island there's a few things. There's a cabin. Uh, which we can sleep at, and we can, uh, there's a sauna, there's a wood-burning sauna at, in, at the cabin. There's also the bucket that we need that we're going to take home with us. And there is, um, there's a fish trap that you can catch fish with here. And there's also a save area over here, which is very important. But we are almost here, the dock is, uh, right over there where my the front of the boat is pointing I believe I might be wrong about that statement yeah I think yeah there it is I see it now I I have not uh, I am not an avid boater I, I I very rarely been on boats as a matter of fact uh, let's let's slow down a little bit here because I want to dock this thing like super skilled all right come on right come on right here 
right here. Stop. 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 Off. Would you look at that? That's a pretty darn good docking job, if I do say so myself. So here's the cabin. Uh, welcome to our island. Um, I'm not going to worry about the fish trap right now. There's the save area, if you're wondering about that for some reason. Oh, here's the fish trap. Let's put the fish trap in the, in the water here. Um, no, we don't want to open it. We just want to pick it up. So, so the next time we come here, we can perhaps have some fish to cook. So we're just going to place this in the water right here. Now, it's probably not going to yield too much in the way of fish, considering its location. But uh, considering we probably won't be back here for a while, I think it might be a worthwhile investment. So, there's two doors here. This is the door that leads to the sauna, and it also has the bucket. This is the uh, Kill You Brewing bucket that we have been looking for for four episodes now. We're taking this back home with us, and we're going to make our brew today. We're going to actually do that today, and then we're going to start putting together the uh, chassis of the car. That's going to go in there. I'll just show you around the place so you guys uh, know what's here. Um, but yeah, we have this area. The bucket was right there, and then here is the sauna. It's a wood-burning sauna, so we actually have to... Uh, cut the wood out here as you can see. It's very similar to the place that we cut wood earlier in the series uh, for like an hour. Uh, in here we got a place we can sleep. Uh, we got, oh yeah, the fireworks. Oh, I... Alright, firework bag, you're gonna come with me here. It is... To be fair, it is New Year's. Uh, this is going up on Tuesday, so it was New Year's yesterday. So I feel like maybe we should... Uh, this is... I'm worried. I know how to do this. Don't drop it. I know how to do this. It just scares me. Because if you do it wrong... If you do it wrong... Then... Actually, let's just do it on the ground here. Get far, far away. So that's how it works. Now, oh, this, this scares me. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to get the bag out of the way. What we need to do is we need to light it up, pick it up, and let go. There you go. Happy New Year, everyone. All right, I forgot that was there. We can do more of that later. I didn't do it quite right, but at this point, uh, considering we're still alive, I don't care. There's also a camera here. This is how you take screenshots in the game. Uh, and there's also a lantern that you can light up as well. So that's that's the cabin. Uh, there's really nothing else on the island, honestly. Um, yeah, there's really nothing else. So Let's just take the bucket and head back home. And uh, I will see you guys when we get back home. Alright, here we are. We're back at our dock. Let's try to dock this thing as well as, as, as we did at the island. Let's see. Come on. Alright, this isn't going to be quite as good, but that's fine. Just shut it off right there. We're close enough to where I'm fine with that. Alright, we got the bucket. Let's get out of driving mode. Let's jump out here. Take a little swim. And let's head back to the household and start making our home brew. So, uh, if you were wondering what the sugar and the yeast was that we bought at the store on, on day one. Or, I guess, day two, since we had to die uh, by the train. Um, if you're wondering what that was this is what we're using it for but there are very specific instructions that we need to follow for this um, so I have those instructions off to the side here so we, that we do this right the first time because otherwise 
this is going to be a real pain if we don't do this right the first time. Alright, so let's get it standing up. Get it standing up here on the table while I get the instructions ready. Um, Alright, so let's see. What we need to do is, <coughs> excuse me, we need to take this top off, um, crap. That's not what I meant to do. We need to take the top off and we need to fill this up with water is what we need to do. Um, okay, calm down. Take the top off. All right, yep, that's fine. Oh no, I just put the sugar in it. No, I didn't. Okay. Did I put the sugar in it? Oh crap. Let's let's just uh, empty this to make sure. I think I did put the sugar in it. So, if we're short one sugar, we might be in some trouble now. But I can always reload. Uh, so basically, we need um Let me make this bigger so I can actually read this. Alright, so let's fill this up with water first. Uh, we need to fill this up pretty much all the way with water. I have to straighten it out because this game's a pain to do if you want to do things the normal way. There we go. Alright, so we need to load this up with water. Uh, all the way. We need to fill this up all the way with water. As far as it can go. I really hope we're not short. Uh, I really hope we're not short on the sugar now that I accidentally put that one sugar in there. I didn't know if I did it or not, so I had to I had to figure it out. But I'm pretty sure I bought all of the sugar that was at the store, so we should be good. Because we need to fill this up. We need only one packet of yeast, so I know we're good on yeast. But we need six bags of sugar. And if I recall, there were eight bags at the store. So I think we're still going to be okay. But uh, let's just hope that that we can do so. If I have to go back to the store just for a packet of, of sugar, I'm not going to be too thrilled. All right, I think that's fill, full now. All right, so now we have to be super careful not to spill this. Because it... If you saw me tip it over once and everything came out. So we're just going to put it on the floor here. Six packet of sugar. One. Oh yeah, we should be fine with sugar. Two. Three. Four, five, I know there's one more around here, six sugars, and one thing of yeast, and that should be all we need, we just need to put the top back on, so, now this is going to take a while we just need to let it sit so what I want to do is I want to put it somewhere where we're not going to knock it over well preferably um, and that place is going to be uh, here on the table because we don't go here very often uh, so basically we have to let this sit for a while and let's see yeah, we just got to let it sit for quite a while, actually. So, now we are going to build the car. So, 
So we we finished the engine block. Uh, so a funny story actually. Um, when we finished recording the last episode, I forgot to save my game. So I had to go and rebuild this entire thing. So that's why it looks a little more complete and it's on the hoist because I just felt like doing that. But let me get my uh, instruction guide here uh, so that we can start putting on, putting the chassis together. All right. So, uh, first thing to do is we need the subframe. Now all this stuff is going to be over here, so we don't have to deal with the shelves for a little while. We need the subframe. Even I know what that is. We're gonna we're gonna need screws as well. You guys know that there's gonna be. Whoa. All right, let's get the toolbox out here as well. Now, if you hear like a little bubbling in the background, that's our kill you. Uh, we have to let that bubble until it stops bubbling, basically. Uh, let's open the toolbox. We need a size 10. So, yeah, if you hear bubbling in the background, that's to kill you. So, we have four screws here. There's one there. I know there's going to be one over here somewhere. There has to be. Uh, let's finish headbutt a little bit. Kind of maneuver our way in here. I know there's got to be another screw. Well, let's get the obvious ones over here then. Got to be one right here. Somebody's going crazy with the chainsaw right now. Uh, in the background, if you guys can hear that, there's somebody going crazy with the chainsaw. Alright, there it is, right there. So there's three, and then four is going to be on the other side. So like last episode, I'm going to try to cut out as much of it as possible, but I also realized how much of a pain that is, because literally, I spent almost two hours editing uh, this one video last last time. So I would prefer not to have to spend that much time there. Alright, there's the subframe. What's next? The steering rack. Which you would assume would look like this. That's the steering column. Never mind. That's next. Uh, steering rack. Steering rack. What would that look like? Steering rack. That, apparently. Um, you would think this would probably... Uh, you would think it would probably go someplace... Like here... I just saw it. I just saw it. There it is. Wow, that was a little more difficult. The problem with the chassis is there's, there's more space that we need to cover. So there's more, more room for failure. Uh, we need a 9 for that. No, nope, get back down. Alright, so there's four of these. These are quite out in the open, so shouldn't have any issues here. Alright, now we need the steering column, which is what we were attempting to get earlier. And this, uh, you would assume that this would be a fairly obvious placement. Yep, beautiful. Uh, of course, we need a different spanner for this, because why not? Let's see, there's only two bolts here, so I would assume they would be attaching to the steering rack that we just put in yep oh something just got damaged if I damage the car a little bit I'm not too concerned about it right now we can always buff that out later alright we need the wishbones which I believe are these nope these this is what I was looking for wishbone there's two of them which one was this I, I forgot what front right so that would be over here uh, all the directions are as you are looking as you would be driving right there we need a different spanner because why wouldn't we 
Only two bolts right there. Nothing too hard. We'll get the other wishbone going then. I don't know why I got up. But yeah, I can't wait. Uh, that home brew is a good way for us to make money. Because there's a guy who will buy that, uh, kill you off of you. Um, and he's a guy you'll get to know a, a little later on as well. Uh, but yeah, that that's another thing that we can do later on. Let's see, spindles are next. Um, drum break. Struts. Half shaft, steering rod, spindle. Let's start with the front right. Um, oh, I saw it right there. And what kind of bolts do we have here? We just have one big old bolt. That should be right in the center area. I saw it. Where was it? Right there. Oh, stop going away from me. Thank you. Alright. So, just a recommendation, and the reason why you haven't been seeing me drink at all while we build the car, is if, if you get a little bit tipsy, it makes it almost impossible to screw things in, because your cursor will be moving all over the place. So that's why I've been either drinking from the tap, or um, at least minimizing the amount of uh, beverages that I've been having while uh, building the car. Come on, just show me. <sighs> Wrong button. I don't even know where the screw is. Like what it's screwing in. Oh my God. Right there. Just stay on it. There we go. All right, what's next? Steering rods. Let's see. That would look well. Shock absorber, half shafts, steering rods. I'm learning so much about cars. Uh, my dad, he he uh, works at an oil place, so he he's around cars quite frequently. But I never really got into it very much. So maybe I can uh, <laughs> have a little more familiar lingo the next time I see see my dad. Uh, either that or I'm going to completely embarrass him with this. Not really sure. Let's just get in the freaking engine compartment here. Because I don't know where any of these things go. You would think they would attach to what we just did, but... That's usually not the case. This said front right, so it would be over here. Oh, it's, it attaches to this. That makes sense. Um, all right, we don't want to tighten these bolts yet, uh, according to my master uh, guide here. We don't want to tighten these yet. So this is the other one, which should go right. I already set, saw the check mark. Oh, back here, because I, I forgot. Get in the engine compartment. There we go. Right there. All right, next are the disc brakes, which are over here. Let's see, that, that's going to go right there. Get the other one on, because I think this is another thing that we're not supposed to tighten until we have uh, a couple other parts on, at least according to my guide. Um, I'm going to have to make sure I go back and look and make sure I have everything tightened. I just want to make sure I'm putting the right one. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right. So... Now we need to put the half shafts on. And then I can go back and tighten other things, I believe. Half shaft. At least as far as I know, I can go back and do some other stuff after this. 
but I really I don't know where where these oh there's one of them all right so now we need uh, I'm damaging this car so much I know you pro probably can't hear it because I've turned uh, the sound way off because there's so many annoying sounds in this game all right so we need this screw tightened right here Oh, that's the alignment screw. No, I don't want to tighten that crap. That's the alignment screw. Yeah, loosen that up then. Because <laughs> this doesn't look very un aligned. Nope. I really probably shouldn't just be jumping inside the engine compartment, but really, uh, what else is a man supposed to do? in this kind of situation. Let me see. Okay. It says... That... No, that's not what I want. There it is. That's what I wanted. The big screw. That's what I was looking for. Now let's get the other strut in. And then we'll tighten the other big screw. I don't know what I was doing there. I'll hopefully cut that out. Because I, I literally just sat around looking at nothing for a while. Alright. And then we got another big screw inside here. Oh no, it wasn't inside. I'm an idiot. But we knew that already. All right. Now we have three nine millimeters, which are inside, but uh, they connect to the engine. But it says you can tighten them before we get the engine in there, so we're just gonna do that, and then the engine will just plop in the place. All right. What's next? The struts are next. That's a big, big component front right. This is an important component, I'm sure. I'm sure I'll find the right spot for it at some point. Eventually, excuse me. Oh, hallelujah. I finally found where those freaking strut goes. Oh my god, that took way too long. Oh, the car is humping. I think I need to get the other strut on before I do anything else. Because I think I just upset the car. Let's get the other strut on before I do anything else. And hopefully this doesn't take as long as the other one did. Nope. Wrong buttons, Aaron. All the wrong buttons. One second. Calm down, car. I'm going to make you okay. Just give me a second. There you go, car. You can stop bouncing uncontrollably now. Oh, Jesus. H. Christ. Um. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a lot of bolts. Uh, let's get a beverage before we do this because we're, our thirst is getting up there. We'll also have a sausage as well. Like I said, we'll try to avoid the alcoholic beverages so this uh, already near impossible task doesn't get any harder. Have sausage and we're good to go for a little while. This has a lot of bolts. Um, just saying. Um... First of all, let's tighten the bolts that we had to wait for uh, on the steering rods, uh, which were these. Oh, well that tightened into place. So that's an important screw to tighten. Alright, so that's that one. 
No, don't go out of tool mode. We'll be in tool mode for a little while. Uh, nine. There are three nines in each one. Are these the top ones by chance? Nope. And there are these. One, two, where's the third one? There's three of them. No, there's four of them. There's another one, which means there's probably another one over here. All right, there's the fourth one. Then we gotta get over to the other side, do the same thing over here. Alright, then there's the ones on the top, which are tens. Alright, that's done. Uh, now we just need the steering rod adjust. I don't know what that is. Or maybe that I just have to adjust it. Um, what does it say here? So basically, we this is the adjustment. This is the alignment. So this this is gonna take a while. I'll, I'll be back with you once I'm I'm done with this. All right. That was the worst thing I think I've ever done. Um, all right, moving on now. <laughs> Basically, what the instructions said is you need to flare, flare it out all the way and then count to 60 on every single one of them. And I was like, no, that's not. I'm not doing that. Oh, my gosh. Um, trailing arms. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, drum break. Trail arms. Uh, yeah, rear left, so that's over here. Right, nope. Why does this game hate me? So there we go. Trailing arms, that of course needs bolts as well, but let me get the other one in first. like that and we need to get some bolts uh, 12s who knows where these are they look like oh somebody's calling the phone let's see who's calling What is with all these creepy people wanting their sewage wells emptied out? Is Finland all full, all creepy people? Really? Because there's the, the kid, that one kid that called us that one time. That was kind of creepy. Um, but yeah, that was kind of creepy. Uh, there's one. I don't know where the other one would be. It feels like it would be somewhere along these lines, maybe on the other side. I, come on. That's the one I've done already, isn't it? Yes, now where would the other one be? Over here, maybe? No. Where would this other screw be? Oh my gosh. Now granted, I probably should have... Oh my god, that's not even remotely better. I probably should have pushed the car into the garage so we could have used the uh, well thingy. But, I mean, that, that took work too. <laughs> um, okay, let's see if I can maybe remotely figure out where this bolt is. 
Can I zoom in? No, nope, that doesn't help. Oh my gosh, game. Why would... Fine, fine. I give up, game. I give up. I'll get the jack. I didn't want to get the jack, but I have to get the jack. I made it through most of it without the jack, but I don't think I can take this part without it. Right there. Come on. Oh, it's just glitching through the car. You see that? It's just glitching. Alrighty. If I can't find that part now, then we're going to have a serious issue. But I think I see it already. Right there. I should have jacked the car up a long time ago. Same deal over here. Just doing the most horrifying jobs known to man, which is tightening every single bolt of this car. But we're almost done, believe it or not, we are almost done. Uh, there's not much left. There's a little wiring and, uh, yeah, there's, there's really not much left. Uh, we need to get the coil springs in. Now, there are a secondary pair of coil springs that we find in our travels uh, that we might uh, locate later on. I personally don't like them, but there are some coil springs that we can use uh, right there. But these will do for now. There's a lot of stuff that we can upgrade when we when we get the uh, appropriate funds. But right now, uh, we're just focusing on building the car, and then we can worry about uh, upgrading some of our equipment. Because eventually, the goal is for us to compete in the rally. There's a rally race. Um, but uh, we're a long ways away from that right now, to be perfectly honest. All right, next is the shock absorbers. We've... Uh, those are also another part that we can upgrade eventually, um, but not yet. Next episode, we might look in the catalog to see uh, uh, some stuff that we can buy, but for now, we'll just stick with what we got. Right there, there's some bolts. Of course, there's some bolts. Oh, we already have the appropriate spanner. What, what a surprise. That doesn't happen very often. All right, I see one right there. But that's not the right one. There's, there's a big one. Oh, I, I saw it. I saw it. Where did you go? Right there, right there. That's the main one. And then there's some smaller ones. All right, we'll get the other one going. Uh, I'm going to have a bunch of editing to do in this episode, too, but hopefully we won't have to build the car much more after this. Um, next episode, we'll probably put the engine block in, and then uh, we're going to be pretty darn close to having a, an actual car. Come on, show me where you go. We, we just went through this with, on the other side. We just went through this. We just went through this. Oh, my God. What does it look like on the other side? Okay. Right there. Okay, let's get these small ones done first. All of the wrong buttons. All right, then we need to get that one big screw that we we had to do earlier, or bolt. I keep saying screw because that's that's what I think, but technically they're bolts if we have to use spanners. 
I just saw it. There it is. All right, what's next? The drum breaks. So, as most of you know, I'm a music teacher. Uh, the drum breaks, or as uh, we call them, break drums, are actually a popular uh, percussion instrument that I have used quite frequently. Uh, so it doesn't matter which one, no. Uh, so, nice to see a little, a little uh, music terminology thrown in here. It, it's literally what it is. It, it, that's what it is. And that's the musical instrument that we use, drum, break drums. Uh, we literally use car brake drums, so. So it's nice to, you know, have a little music terminology thrown in every now and then. You know, it's not really music terminology, it's car terminology that is used for music. Um, I played, uh, when I was in college, uh, when I was a music student in college, I played a song, it's called The Internet Symphony. Uh, it was... Uh, there was a whole thing, it was about five years ago, uh, the YouTube created a symphony and they had a song written for it, uh, the Internet Symphony is by uh, Dan Toon, I believe, um, and it uses, uh, the percussion section uses car rims, uh, to, uh, rims for tires, um, as an instrument. Alright, so, that's the last part. For now, um, we're going to get the tires on. Uh, we're going to do that now so that we can, uh, really doesn't matter which one. Now, there are a bunch of different tires. Uh, I remember T-Ball Man was commenting on one of the previous videos. It might have been the last one, actually. Um, that there's a bunch of different tires that we can buy, and there's a couple of specific tires that we have to buy uh, in order to do the rally uh, but these are just our starter tires to get us to and from where we need to be until we have all the upgrades that we need um, we're actually, I, I am going to get the engine in today I don't know how long this is going to be because we're kind of reaching our hour mark right now but I, I want to get this engine in Uh, if it's the last thing I do, I want to get this engine in. If I never <laughs> play this game ever again, I at least want to say I successfully uh, got the engine in the car <laughs> with the suspension and all that stuff. We still have like a lot of the electrics, a lot of the uh, in inside stuff to do, but for the most part, I'm just going to get all the tires on first and then we can... Uh, Okay, I can't see. This was probably not a good angle to pick up the tire at. Uh, now the car is going to fly here. Yep. I, I should lift it up, but I mean, I'm honestly not really concerned about that right now because I just want to get this done, hopefully before my time is up. Because I, I, I mentioned in what, the second episode that I try to keep an hour time limit uh, for recording. Whoa. All right, we'll get this tire on first then. Now, when you tighten your tires, you're supposed to use a star pattern. So I guess I'll do that, even though it really doesn't matter in this game. I'll use the star pattern. All right, tires have been tightened. Progress has been made. Now we just need to uh, lower the jack here. Uh, once my little hand shows up again. Get the jack out of the way. And what I would like to do is I would like to push the car into the garage. Uh, but I gotta find the push key first. Um, oh wow, first try. I guess. So let's uh, line this up a little bit. See how that looks. Uh, let's push the front to the right a little bit. Just a little bit. Maybe like one push right there. And that looks pretty close. We're going to move the back to the right. Just a tad. Stop. 
I just don't want it to go down the well. <laughs> All right, onward to victory. I might need to go a little lower. Kind of glitching through the car. Oh, how are we? How are we lined up here? How are we lined up? All right, we'll go a little more forward. I just feel like getting it out of the well would take an un atrocious amount of time that I really don't want to do. Stop! Okay. I think I can solve this. I think I can solve this. Let's go down to one crouch here. Not. I think I can solve this. Get the pushing arms back. And. Whoa! Okay, okay, that's not what I meant to do. Oh no. How did. Oh my god, that's perfect! I mean, it's going to be kind of a pain to get back out again, but the hoist is right there. Why are we so slow? There we go. Oh, my. Not, don't question it. Don't question it. Let's just get the hoist down. Let's get it down. Let's get it going. Okay, it's kind of moving the car backwards a little bit. That's okay. All right, so there are three bolts, of course. Uh, let me get the spanner out here, the crutch spanner, which is an 11. And so there are three bolts that you need for this, and they appear once you get close enough to them. And then, um, so... Let's just kind of, no, let's just kind of lean and see see how we're doing here. Ah, uh, we need to lower it a little bit more. Let's try that. Are the bolts appearing now? No. Lower it a little bit more. Okay, there's not much more lowering I can do. Um, so we're off. We're a little off. Which is fine. What we need to do is we need to move the hoist. A little bit over like that. How are we now? All right, let's go a little bit to the right. Stop. This is so nerve wracking. Ah. Uh, We're still not very close. Oh, come on. We're just, I just want to be done. Um, we got to be close. I can't get much closer than that. Can I lower it anymore? Okay, I can. But I can't get much closer than this. Come on, where are the bolts? There's got to be somewhere. Oh my god. Just when you thought this game gave you a gift, it immediately pays you back with torture. But we're really close. That has to go there. We're so close. Lift, lift the hoist up a little bit. We are so unbelievably close. Alright, back it up a little bit. We're so close. 
right there. Let's try that. I just want. I just want to do it, please. Nope, that's not the button I meant to press. This is literally the worst thing ever. I apologize if you guys hear any background noise. Yes, the bolts! Oh my gosh. Hallelujah. No, give me my give me my spanner back. Oh my god. Just as I was about to give up hope. I feel like there's another one somewhere. I can't remember where though. Right there. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we are almost done building this car. We just got to put all the fuel stuff in, all the electronics, uh, and we are almost ready to go. Lights and dashboards and all that stuff, doors. So just kind of the, uh, the non-mechanical parts, I guess, is left. So thank you guys so much for watching. We did it. We're on wheels. We have an engine in the car. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content from ATF Gaming, be sure to hit that red subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.